Hey there, it's Raven Scry here today to share another crypto reading. This one is Digibyte and Matic uh, and is offered by Kevin. So thank you, Kevin. Uh, now, if you would like one of these readings, please don't hesitate to get in touch via the About page of the channel. And I'll see you soon. Enjoy. So the first uh, coin that you've selected is Digibyte, D-G-B. Okay. Okay, so as I connect to Digibyte, um, in the way that it feels, there's, there's, you know, it's kind of a medium-sized energy that comes through, but it's also like, um, it's feeling, there's an oldness to it. And I mean, my logical mind knows of Digibyte, and it's been around for a while, uh, but, you know, that aside... Um, in the way that it that it comes through, it's like uh, it's like there's a cold element. There's a cold element in there. It's like something's a little bit empty, uh, and it's interesting because there's in the way that it's coming through, it's like there's this space that is there, and there is like an astronaut sitting uh, in this in this space. It's like with a big headpiece on. Uh, in the way that they're showing this to me, uh, and he's just kind of floating there in space, uh, in connection with this kind of, with this space that's being held, space, space, space everywhere, it seems to be coming in, um, but it's like he's kind of floating there, uh, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of things going on here, it feels a bit empty, uh, like somebody's kind of left the building in the way that it's coming through. It's, it's like um, it's reminding me of uh, like a factory or something that there was once big business, but there's not a lot going on in there. There's things going on, but there's just not much for the size of the space, uh, and really, there's not many people in there either. Uh, it's just a bit empty, uh, or they're not there for some reason. Uh, is the way that they're showing this. Now, I'm just going to ask Spirit what they've got to share around Digibyte. Um, and they're, it's like they're kind of, you know, they're, they're not minding it, but they're, but they're kind of showing me that it doesn't have a lot of energy with it. It's like it's not really lifting uh, at this time anyway. It's like it's, it's like it's sort of just there and it's just there. It's not moving a lot. Uh, and um, and I ask, what have you got to share around Digibyte, Spirit? Um, it, it's almost like the, the way it makes me feel is like there's a sadness in my heart. Like it's like there was big hopes for this one, uh, but it's almost like it's not quite got there or not got there yet uh, in the way the energy is feeling here. Uh, and they seem disappointed, like spirit seems disappointed. And I feel as though it's at possibly connection within community as well, like expanding out because they're wanting to speak about a lot of the community that uh, Digibyte is connected to uh, is a very wonderful community. Like a lot of the people who are invested in it uh, are very um, expansive people. They, you know, they believe in... Uh, beautiful change on the planet and developments as we evolve uh, is kind of the sense that they're giving me here. So there's a there's a beautiful community, but Spirit's sort of just gently saying, you know, I don't know that it's going to do what is expected here at this time. And I ask is, you know, what more do you have around Digibyte? Because I feel like, you know, it's that feels a bit sad. What, what more? Um, they're talking about triumphs, but not in the way that you'd expect. Um, some sort of separation occurring. Um, and it almost feels like perhaps there's some connection with the project and something uh, shoots off from it, or there's a connection with the team or um, some part of the project that, that almost spawns or there's, an, there's, a, there's something that connects to it and it moves out. Uh, and it, it could be like a rebrand or it could be like something that happens to the project, um, but just some sort of change that they're showing me. 
uh, and and they're they're offering that information, um, but there's still there's this heaviness still that I feel with it, um, and it just doesn't feel very active, activated, in, in the way it's shown. Now I'm just going to ask, okay, as we move into 2024 further uh, and into 2025, uh, it, like it's I'm hearing it's solid. Um, but I'm I'm just seeing weightedness, you know. I'm just seeing I'm seeing a, like great expectations on this, but it's not moving very well. It feels slow, uh, and it it feels empty in some way. There's emptiness around this, um, yeah. Uh, but there is this 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 feeling of sort of devastation that I feel like I'm I'm devastated. This didn't work out. You know, it is how it's coming through, uh, and it's like just this disappointment. There's just a lot of disappointment uh, here, and you know, this feels quite negative. This reading, uh, and again, sometimes I don't like to just sort of offer these big whaps of um, you know negative vibes for these projects because you know I just don't. But that, that's what they're giving me. So you know, that may change later, but. At at this stage, it's looking heavy. It's looking a little bit like it's lagging, and it's not taking off to the degree that people think it may. It feels a bit like a ghost town, uh, and yeah, I'm just not getting a great sense. It's like there's this this trying, you know, there's this trying to make it something more uh, that almost takes place. Let's try this way now, but it's still not being lifted um, at this stage. Uh, and, you know, there's a possibility that it could be lifted from what they're trying because I kind of see some things coming into the picture as I connect to that. Um, you know, it's like someone adopting it, somebody connecting to it. Is it a company? Is it a some sort of business picking it up and maybe supporting it or using it in some way? Um, and, and this could be a possibility, but in the current energy of what they're giving me, it's just not really moving uh so possibly this this shift the shifting gears this change may do something and may actually make the change that they're trying so desperately for um in the way that this is being shown so yeah i'll, I'll leave it there and i hope that it really does uh pick up at a later stage with this change but um for now the energy is just not looking great it's just a bit heavy doesn't feel very positive. Okay, I'm going to move along now uh, to your other request, and that's Matic. Okay, Matic. Um, I'm hearing silence. Uh, as I connect to Matic's energy, I'm hearing silence. Um, this will do extreme things, but later on, they're saying. Uh, and it's interesting because there's this energy that's come over me that feels quiet and like I'm waiting in silence and in presence. And I'm observing uh, what's here and what's in the space. And I'm not being carried away with any emotions in either direction. I'm just observing uh, and watching and contemplating and uh, expanding, essentially. Uh, so this is kind of the energy I'm feeling with Matic. So I ask Spirit, okay, with, with all that said, it feels like it's the presence of where the, where the energy of Matic is at the moment. Uh, there is, there has been a fairly silence energy, silent energy around the project. I haven't really heard a lot about it. Uh, I guess, you know, in, in reflection into my logical uh, human self. Um, but uh, it's like later on there's gonna you're going to see this. It's like, you know, you can't really deny where it's moving uh, and the contemplation. It's like it's not... It's like it's a next level of something that is not trying to be anything it just is if that makes sense um and I ask spirit okay can you give me more around Matic and um they're just talking about price movements that are going to be higher 
uh, but somehow they push it out a little bit further uh, than expected. Uh, and I ask, okay, moving further into 2024, into 2025 with Matic, uh, eruption, uh, adoption, growth, it's like it just starts moving and opening up everywhere uh, and sprouting off into a lot of things. I feel like it's going to be adopted on a larger scale um, into a lot of things, into a lot of uh, networks, um, many transactions and a lot of action. It's just like this... this thing that's branching out uh, as we move along Uh, so it's kind of undeniable within this energy Uh, it's like I'm not trying to see price action but I'm seeing action of the actual um, use case for this so it's undeniable where this project's going to head and interestingly I just had a triple three come up um, in front of me and there you know it's taking me to think about there's been these mentions of um, three x's x's with a three uh, so that's got a possible link there too but interesting to just see the numbers as they pop in through the reading uh, yeah so big you know it just has a very big energy to it uh, and I ask is there anything more that they can share around uh, any insights that we should know about um, they're talking about March will be big, month of March, and they're, and they're referring to the eruption, an eruption in March, um, and I'm asking, okay, well, March, you're talking about March 2025, I feel as though yes, uh, I feel as though I'm getting a yes around March 2025 as being, you know, some sort of powerful moment, some sort of eruption that takes place. Um, and they're saying don't sleep on this one this is you know this is big uh, big for a reason is what they're saying Uh, and they're talking about implementation of other um, integrations into the system too which is yeah which is just expansion essentially Um, and I'm just going to ask spirit okay let's because we've got a couple more minutes. I'm, I'm just going to ask Spirit for anything specific uh, in connection to Matic that we could know about that's an extra, you know, uh, extra um, hints or clues on anything in connection to Matic uh, that they want to share that is very that is going to do very well uh, or some other clue. I just want to pry in there a bit more. Um, they're talking about... They're showing me a suitcase uh, and somebody packing this suitcase uh, full of things and, you know, this businessman kind of picking it up and boarding the plane um, and he's like he's on, you know, he's on a plane and he's... uh, I feel as though he's getting some sort of flying points or something Um, and I feel as though that's connected in some way to Matic, like there's... Um, some sort of, is it frequent flyers or some way it's implemented uh, into this this man who is on this business trip. Uh, And I ask, you know, Spirit, is there anything more around this that they can show? They're just showing, uh, like, part of the wider adoption. They're showing an example of something uh, specific. And I ask, is there... um, yeah, It's almost like they're connecting... Matic to this flying and it, it's like it's um, becoming larger through this in some way or it's expanding more uh, in some way with its connection to this flight that this man is taking. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit interesting and I you know, don't quite understand how that's uh, going to play out but uh, that's what Spirit um, gave around an extra for Matic. Uh, Now, I'm just going to ask anything more that they wish to share around Matic, uh, eruption, big growth. Um, And they they just show huge heights and they're showing references to robots too. I feel as though it's AI connections coming into it as well. Uh, And so it really is integrating into mainstream uh, in quite a large way. Uh, And it's like nothing can really stop it. You know, there's a, it's like things are limited, but it's just moving past all the limitations into all the different areas. Um, 
and in the way it's shown too, it's like, you know, like a, if there was a tsunami, you know, a wave would come in and it just floods everywhere. There's no denying it or no trying to stop it from going into certain places because the water just comes in and that's the energy of Matic. Uh, it's just coming into the space in a big way. Um, so it's a big one and it feels like it could be one of the... One of the big ones, you know, and I feel as though there's this whole thing with Solana at the moment that is, like, it's massive. It's going to be the next ETH and whatnot, so so people are saying. But it has that feeling around it as well uh, that it could grow to be quite large uh, with how big it's being shown within its energy. So it's quite exciting. Okay, I'm going to leave the reading there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the reading today uh, if you've got any thoughts about any of the projects uh, and any info about anything at all uh, please don't hesitate to pop it below in the comments and if you like one of these readings please get in touch via the about page of the channel and the email address there okay sending you many blessings Ravenscry signing off